about taking that voyage together. We didn't want to die in our sleep like so many people wish for. Or at least she didn't. She thought it sounded boring, and even though dying scared me, I wanted to be brave enough to engage in the fantasy. We decided we'd go out defending our treehouse against the separatists. It was inevitable once they finally discovered us kissing traitorously beneath their cootie-infested headquarters. We'd be catgut to death. And she thought it was romantic, like Romeo and Juliet. She'd say, and I'd say, okay. But wonder, like I always do, if anyone has actually ever heard that story. And I finished our treehouse with a few scraps of dead wood that I was able to drag back to land. It seemed fitting after our whole lives were broken homes for all those shipwrecked pieces to complete one. It was beautiful, and she might have called it redemption for a split second. As I watched the last of her craft fall beneath the surface of the water, I thought that we are all only stones in an ocean, and maybe it didn't matter that much whether we lived or died, but she was right about taking thoughts captive. I am lonely, and I can't reconcile loneliness with meaninglessness, because like beauty, it leaves me wanting for more. She is still a decision that floats out like debris on ripples that began at her stone's throw. You were a mountain to me! Trembling and I long beyond your beauty, past your breaking, out into whoever is responsible for your new beginning. Maybe he knows the end. Maybe he knows the end. When you first set sail and pushed off to sea, I stood on the shore looking forward, tongue tied and stubbornly holding tears behind my eyes. No matter how much I like you, girl, there is a boy in me. I end up weeping with you, staring back, smiling. And I guess this means goodbye. Infinitely. 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 You're okay. <laughs>